Hey Cancer, welcome to your mid-month January update. Um, last uh, initial January love reading that we did, you all were calling in a higher level of love or a higher vibrational love. We're going to check in here mid-month and see what's going on with the love energies. If anything has shifted, if anything has changed, if there's any updates. Uh, so I'm going to use this deck here and then after I'm going to pull some advice for cancers for love with uh, this deck here. So let's take a look and see what is happening with the energies and what, if anything, you need to do about it. I'm going to go ahead and pull five cards. So the first thing that I'm getting is the number seven as I'm connecting with your energy cancer. When number seven comes up at the beginning of my readings, it's spirit asking you to pay attention to your intuition. Like your angels and guides are trying really hard to get your attention right now. They're trying to help you. Maybe a lot of you are feeling very kind of uh, confused about a situation or a person. And spirit is definitely wanting to bring you in guidance, okay? So listen to your intuition. Listen to what your gut feeling is telling you. You all have page of cups coming up. So some of you may, I mean, this could be you because you're a water sign, obviously. Some of you may be dealing with a younger water sign or a more playful water sign person. But the main message that I get or why I feel when I see page of cups is basically like a new emotional experience or finally opening up the heart to connect emotionally with somebody else it's kind of to me like somebody who maybe hasn't uh had a whole lot of uh really emotionally close long-term relationships and they're beginning to open up or they're ready to open up and to experience this so some of you may be dealing with a like, like, like somebody who has a bit of a reputation for being a player and they're swearing up and down that like this is it they're ready they're not playing around anymore um, some of you could be just in a place where you've been really hurt and you are thinking of opening up to love and it's just kind of like those initial baby steps of letting somebody in or letting the wall down. This feels like the beginning of a new love or the beginning of, of like letting your wall down to let somebody in. So some of you may be getting closer to somebody or uh, preparing to get closer to somebody and so this could definitely be um, both exciting and a little bit intimidating it could be a little bit scary for some of you as well uh, but you know page of cups is playful um, it is kind of just more like that light-hearted energy wanting to connect but it's not like let's talk about really deep things or really deep subjects but trying to experience emotional bonding trying to experience both friendship as well as romance in the relationship so you're being encouraged cancer to open up your heart to let this connection in your next card here is knight of pentacles so success for you is going to be possible and it is coming you know because knight of knight of pentacles oops Knight of Pentacles wants you to know that you are going to be successful in your endeavors, but that you simply are being asked to stay focused and to stay committed. And I, I don't necessarily just mean being committed to a person like where you're not cheating on them, but also committed in the sense that like you're not giving up on yourself. You're not giving up on, you know, being patient with the other person. You're not giving up on trying to communicate in healthy ways. It's just, you know, the maintenance work that comes in with a relationship. Now, I feel that those of you who are running away or who have ran away in the past, it's not because you're irresponsible. It's not because you're not loyal. I think this is really just having been super hurt like just having been super hurt by people that when the relationship begins moving forward you're really quick to okay this is getting too close and I don't know if this is going to go well and you might start like convincing yourself that this is a horrible person or you might start convincing yourself uh, of all the reasons why you should put push this relationship away 
and you may be really really like putting up the walls and and like backing out and spirits asking you not to do that this time now this is a general reading there are some of you who've had to walk away from some pretty horrible people i'm not saying that every single person that watched this video walked away from a relationship because they didn't have valid reasons i'm just saying for some of you this is what has happened for other ones of you you've you had blocked out nice people and unfortunately some some bad people came in or were able to uh convince you to trust them and then you're like oh man i shouldn't have trusted this person so knight of pentacles when i see this it's saying don't give up don't give up keep doing the work you know open up that heart energy um, and stay committed, stay focused to what your goals are. And sometimes it could also be like not settling for somebody, like, like not saying, okay, fine, I'll just take this person. Like stay committed to your, your boundaries, stay committed to your standards, stay committed to what you're wanting for to be fulfilled in your love life. Don't just settle for whoever just happened to show up and is, is cool with being around. Next card here is two of pentacles okay so um in this this is gonna be work cancer this is gonna be work this is a new emotional experience right so as some of you are having somebody coming in and they're wanting to connect uh, and it could very well be a, a water sign but we have two pentacle cards that came in back to back so this is also very strong earth energy some of you may be dealing with an earth sign but then all of a sudden i heard aquarius i just heard aquarius out of nowhere so somebody watching this may be dealing with an aquarius or there may be an aquarius who is cross watching for a cancer uh but the message here is that this is a relationship where both of you are in new territory which is really funny that i'm hearing new territory because i remember in your reading last week the analogy that spirit asked me to share with you is like you know a, a mountain lion or something that wandered off into like the neighborhood and was kind of lost and that's why you were having a hard time finding your partner or your person or connecting because you were in the wrong territory you weren't like out in the wild where you belonged and so I'm hearing that now is that this is new territory for some of you. Maybe you've gone back into the wilderness or, or you're finding your way back home, but it still feels a little bit new to you. And you're feeling like you're trying to find your way through. And to me, it feels new territory feels to me like this emotional connection. Some of you are finally opening up to love after a very long time. Or some of you are finally deciding to let somebody in or to take somebody seriously. And this is going to be work. It's not going to be easy. And for some of you, it's going to feel very overwhelming because you're already dealing with your everyday obligations and responsibilities. And now you have like, you know, all of the work that comes in with the relationship. So this is saying don't push the relationship too hard. Try to take a more playful approach. Try to have fun. When two of pentacles comes up, it's saying you need to find ways to have fun. Or you need to try to find ways to make this fun. Especially since we have page of cups here. You all might have a page of cups and you're trying so hard to pry this person over. Or to like crack that nut and get into like the deeper layers. And this person's probably not going to open up that way. Like they might feel very intimidated and they may, and they may like run away or they may kind of clam up. But if you're more playful, they're going to be more relaxed. And if they're more relaxed, they're going to feel closer to you. They're going to start opening up. They're going to start talking. So you're being encouraged instead of trying to take a super like, let's talk about this. Let's analyze everything. Maybe get close to this person through a little bit more playfulness. Okay, three of wands. This relationship cancer that you're having or that's coming in uh, is really expanding your, your whole way of looking at love, your whole experience with relationships. A lot of expansion happening here. It may even lead to travel. It may even lead to travel of some kind. You all may be planning a trip or going somewhere together. Or if there's long distance here, maybe traveling to see one another. Um, three of Wands to me, though, also can be definitely like a creative venture. And for some of you, this is someone who you're really clicking with, you're connecting with. And there could even be some kind of like planning or talking about like doing something together creatively or business wise where it's also coming in as a bit of a partnership not just a romance but a partnership for some of you i think that for a lot of you this person coming in in this experience is really like inspiring you or opening you up to where 
you're realizing what you deserve you're realizing what your strengths are you're realizing what you're capable of and you're just hungry for more in life it's almost like it's opening up your appetite for more happiness abundance in different ways new experiences some of you are feeling more confident uh three of wands is also to me like the card of the point of no return like you're 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 making the decision to do something and there's no going back from it and typically it's going to have a positive return but it's definitely something that's also coming in with lessons or ways to grow but there's good coming out of it so some of you are deciding to expand with a person or to really explore a relationship again even though there's just a lot of kind of hesitation energy here all right and then we have page of swords this is telling me that this relationship that's coming in, and maybe for some of you there is an air sign quality, or maybe there's an air sign that's cross-watching, or some of you have air in your chart, or you're dealing with an air sign or somebody with air in their chart as well. But the overall theme of this card, my dears, regardless of whatever your, your sign is or whatever your chart is, when I see Page of Swords, it's telling me this is going to be a relationship about communication. You're going to have to communicate, and you're going to have to speak your truth don't expect for this person to be able to read your mind don't expect to be able to drop hints you have to be open with this person and you have to speak your truth uh, i do feel for some of you i am getting there's some kind of written correspondence from somebody you haven't heard from in a very long time um and again i don't know why this is this happens in my readings a, a, a lot lately but i i feel it's from somebody who maybe is incarcerated or uh, who has had to like go away to fix something maybe they had like family issues or something in another country and they're trying to make things right but i feel some of you are receiving some kind of written correspondence which is shining the light on a massive truth that's going to be very healing for you all and it's going to give you what you needed to really truly heal to have like the love life that you've been wanting um i think some of you have had this really major or massive block uh because there's been something you've been holding on to or something hasn't been clear to you and somewhere uh, in january maybe more towards the end of the month it's becoming cleared up like the truth is being revealed or you're finally speaking your truth something that needs to be said is being said something that needs to be revealed is being revealed uh, and for other ones of you because like i said it's a general reading you're having a strengthening a, an existing relationship or a new relationship by being honest and being open and and not holding back and being able to speak your truth okay we're going to check out what advice is coming up for you for cancers in love and see what is happening here all right see what is happening here for love cancers i don't know what's going on i'm feeling super chill while i'm reading for you i'm just i'm super chill right now i don't know if you guys are tired i don't know if you're just like i'm feeling super chill all right so let's see what your advice is for cancer or for those dealing with a cancer okay stay positive have faith um you know i went to a workshop with uh radley valentine and doreen virtue before doreen virtue went through whatever she's going through poor woman but radley valentine also helped design this deck and he was saying that he designed this card or this woman after some uh, greek or roman goddess i can't remember who but she was like a goddess of healing so this card is supposed to mean that some relationship is helping you with your healing and like kind of like the like like helping you to ease into opening up okay and so this is saying don't expect the worst stay optimistic and that that positive thinking is going to help this relationship to grow you know like i said don't be quick to shut the door on someone or something or don't be quick to give up on love express your love speaking your truth speaking your truth express your love go ahead and make the romantic gesture 
So maybe some of you are opening a door, Cancer. Maybe some of you are like, hey, can we talk about something? Maybe some of you are taking the initiative. Or maybe some of you are just being more expressive in an existing relationship. Like maybe you're initiating a little bit more. Or maybe you're expressing to this person that you appreciate them. And this is bringing more love into your life or more love into the relationship. Again, it's a general ring, so it's going to be different for different ones of you definitely check out your moon sign and rising sign videos because that's going to give you more information as far as what's going on with your specific energy because you're going to have different planets in your chart and i do have a link in the description that says how you can figure out what your moon sign and rising sign are and my friends please do absolutely reach out to me let me know if you would like a private reading i am enjoying getting to know you guys doing this and um i'm gonna have some more videos coming up with the pick a cards because a lot of you have been asking for pick a cards so be sure to like subscribe comment share hit notifications so you know when the new videos are up those of you who are very angry at love and who are commenting about how you know why is everything a love video i do money family i do other readings and i do them once a week so check out the general weekly forecast too because it's i don't focus on love in those readings i do the love reading separately so if you want to know other areas of your life check out the weekly forecasts that are already up thank you so much my friends take care